Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Laura. We're gonna do a video today on the fall of Atlantis and the energies that are circling back around at this time because it's very messy. And I did a video the other day, it was very sticky energy. So I'm gonna try to do another one and see if we get more clear messages because I'm gonna just see where the divine masculine is and see where the divine feminine is here as we head into the new moon, 1212 portal. There's a lot of, of total completion in this energy. We are completing a very, very long cycle and I'm, I'm getting um, starting a whole new beginning at the same time into the higher timeline of the new earth. Because this time we do not have to experience the sinking of a whole island and we do not have to experience that. We're gonna experience more of a being propelled into a new energy, being propelled. It's like someone who's being slingshot into the higher timeline, but that's with all of your knowledge that's been preserved from Atlantis still hit in here. You're gonna to start to know um, more about our ancient past lifetimes because they inform us so much in this particular lifetime. Okay, and I'm getting a lot of messages from the elementals, from the galactic beings. So this might be a really long video. Let's just see what happens here. Apocalypsis is the starting out um, energy. Okay, so we are exiting apocalypsis collectively, the apocalypse, the judge. I feel like this is about get your thinking right because this could also be a lot of, a lot of you in legal situations the apocalypse and the judge. Being stuck in legal battles is a tactic of the matrix to keep you stuck. So any court issues, any divorces, anything at all that's legal is gonna be really um, highlighted at this time. Yeah, Kairos, divine timing, because they're out of time. I just saw two, two, two. The energy has to balance the um, the apocalypse, the gray alien timeline, whatever. They're all out of time and they know it and they are doing everything they can to target the light workers, the light warriors with legal issues that's gonna affect your thinking, that's gonna keep you in separation consciousness, us against them, that's gonna try to lower your vibration. The ring, because we're about to go divine timing. We're about to go into unity consciousness. And this is about divine commitment, and this is about your contracts from the divine coming back around, your union contracts, okay. The starborns on the bottom of the deck. All of these starseed children that are coming into the new earth are very, very close, and they are still arranging the timelines, the mystic, they're still communicating to the divine feminine, the queen, the mystic. This is like the high priestess queen energy of the divine feminine that is communicating with the higher dimensions and realms and the galactic beings and you yourself divine feminine i just saw three 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 we know what path we are going towards and so when you're listening to a divine feminine you will know because they're never about doom and gloom divine feminine energy is about the higher timeline and is about unity consciousness and does not dwell and engage and any apocalypse type of doom and gloom speak because that lowers our vibrational frequency and it's what we are exiting, it's what we're leaving behind. The thing is here, what's not here, but is here very strong, is what is keeping primarily the divine masculines in this black and white, in this duality of the matrix consciousness is exactly what they we're bound to in Atlantis, in Lemuria. It's that black magic type of energy that divine masculine seems to attract like glue to them. And it's because their light, when they start to turn it on, is very visible. And there's a knowing that they are connected to these very um, bright, mystic, queen, divine feminines and there is a knowing of the power 
here between divine masculine and divine feminine when you come together fully to create together as we are divinely intended. And when you create on a high level, when you're both wide awake, when you're both awake and you know what's going on and you speak that out loud to each other and you share that in your intimacy when you are intimate with each other and then you tap into this magic that powers up the new earth energy that powers up whatever pathway is the one for you both to be on um then it takes power away from the matrix and that's why separating divine masculine and divine feminine energies is a necessary part of powering up a distorted matrix grid okay so that's how false light operates is they siphon energy from the masculine and the feminine who are in separation from each other bright heart light yeah that's the masculine shining a bright heart light in the simulation that is probably glitching it out everywhere they go because i feel like at this point divine masculine open connections has started to do that wings of light becoming something new they're becoming transformed very rapidly fast so this is like divine masculine being radically activated their heart is open they may be having a lot of heart chakra and higher heart chakra activations and becoming very activated to become their higher self at all times in the in the simulation deep emotions yeah it's because the frequency is raising so much on this earth that the memory of atlantis the memories of lemuria the memories of deep devoted union love frequency that's coming back online for the masculine and they are probably very very emotional at this time guide the illuminated path yeah and i feel like this is divine feminine energy who comes through as a guide to the divine masculine who has laid the groundwork they've laid the pathway for divine masculine to be guided out of the forest here because once you wake up, it's like you wake up in the forest, you wake up in the darkness, and then you have to follow a trail of breadcrumbs or something of light, in this case, out of the forest so that you know where you're flying off to here. Okay. Duality, yeah. Leaving the duality matrix. Okay, and that's Mary Magdalene on that card. Let's get a guide here. Stay with the masculines. The, God, the, the masculines have had more transformation, more than I've ever actually seen in a very short period of time. Because I feel like I took a little break from making YouTube videos. There was one that I posted that was from Patreon, but it's been a little while since I checked in here. And in the last two weeks, it feels like Divine Masculine has opened their heart. They are op They are actually forcing the apocalypse to come sooner because they are awake and there's enough divine masculines motivated to start to be shining their light the way that divine feminine has been shining their light that that's why the judge is here because it's like anything that the false light can do to start to um make the masculine slow down it's not gonna work because this is where we're splitting from the fall of Atlantis. The fall of Atlantis, the masculine did not slow down. The masculine sided with false light. Masculine sided with the siren energy. They sided with the ones that promised them power and played to their ego. But this time, these divine masculines did not play into that timeline. They actually actively avoided it. And maybe some of them have been biding their time. But at this point, they're ready to start to emerge. They're ready to start to show what divine love looks like. They're ready to start to be guides themselves, to start to illuminate the path forward for others. And there's a large number of them doing this. And that is not what the false light anticipated was going to happen. Okay. Yeah. Holy amethyst, divine alchemy. There's an alchemization here. Move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. Hilarion, divine healing. Right. 
that my masculine has been spending a lot of time healing, has been a lot, spent a lot of time healing their physical vessels, healing from trauma and abuse cycles. Divine masculine has been healing and they have alchemized their healing energy into light. It's quite literally green color match to the heart chakra. And so, <laughs> so this is what's the power of actually keeping your heart open is that you start to emit a much higher light frequency. And it almost feels like overwhelming from the masculine standpoint, because once you do this, your mission that you're meant to embody in this higher timeline of unity will start to reveal itself. There's much more like, there's much more activity, momentum, energy I'm getting. There's a lot of energy here where it feels like Divine Masculine is just ready to go, ready to do something, ready to speak, ready to be seen, ready to um, embark on a new journey, ready to move, ready to whatever. But the thing is, you know, it's, it's one of those things where if you look at from a higher perspective, you see all these masculine's lights are turned on. They're not siding with false light. They've gotten away from siren energy. They are on their path towards being guides for humanity. And um, it's got the, the ones who are trying to keep everyone in the simulation really shook. That's, that's the feeling. They're really shook because they know they can't, they, their whole game was keeping masculine and feminine in separation duality consciousness. And once you open your heart chakra, you ascend into unity consciousness, you bypass the simulation, duality no longer has a hold over you, and their game is done. Their game over is what I'm getting. Okay, and that's the new earth. <laughs> because it's game over for the third dimension matrix. Fogged in, go slow, take time. Yeah. So you're gonna be slowed down here because you wanna go too fast. And the guides and the beings are not gonna allow you to fail. I just saw 1221. So they're not gonna allow Divine Masculine to fail. So you might have a lot of roadblocks. You might have a lot of busy work, like legal matters to do, to have to take care of. You may have people who come into your way because you can't take on the world in one fell swoop. Like you have to go slow so that you know what, what you're doing and you have to lay your path very consciously and not just throw caution to the wind and do anything impulsively here. There's no impulsive maneuvers being allowed to happen. Okay. In the flow, everything is smooth sailing. Journey by moonlight, believe in magic, of course, as we do. And it feels like with the mystic and the queen here that this is divine feminine energy. Again, with the moon, which is divine feminine, the psychic feeling here of the divine feminine that's embodying a flow state. So this is advice for the feminine. Stay in a flow state. Know that your masculine is coming at their own pace that is being allowed for them to go. Because it's like a lot of times all divine feminines are pretty um, precog, precog aware, um, aware of the higher timeline, aware of the future. Precognitive awareness is what I want to say. You have clair, clairvoyancy. You have claircognizance. You know where we're going before we get there. You know what divine masculine is doing before they know what they're doing. And that's the thing here. So it's like... Divine Masculine is going at a slow, fogged in pace to get to the feminine. And Divine Feminine has to hold the belief in magic and knowing that everything is happening in a flow as it's meant to be smooth sailing. It's not meant to, um, it's not gonna be anything that's going to be too much right away because that won't be allowed here. Okay, um, let's get some more tarot on this message. So, okay, we're basically in totally new territory, unknown territory is what I get because 
This is on the bottom of the deck, choosing your path. Choosing your path and basically making our own pathway out of the matrix has been the theme for this whole week. Okay, and probably the rest of this month. And knowing that you're gonna have to go away that's never been done before, ever. Not ever, not ever on the earth. This is, this is ascension that we have done in other dimensions and realms, but we have never ascended the earth before. Okay. Ascended masters and incarnated angels and star seeds and all of us that are here for this time of radical ascension, we know what we're doing because we have this clear cognizance. We have this knowing of what we're doing, but we don't actually have anyone to say, yes, you're right. We can't check ourselves because we are the ones who are, who are checking. Like we our future selves are the ones who are checking our current selves. So it's just going back and forth between you and your own intuition for the truth. Okay. And that's how we take action to take pathways that we're making ourselves into our new earth frequency. Okay, queen of sacred circles, queen of pentacles, ace of staves, this is the Egyptian energy. Someone asked me about the pyramids. I think they asked me in Patreon about the pyramids and how they were built or who built them or whatever. Okay, my answer to this is that we have placed these, um, you think of it as a simulation and we have placed these unknown objects, the pyramids being one of them, in our field, Stonehenge is one of them. Um, okay, how the pyramids were made is basically, it's a aspect of our subconscious mind that wants you to remember yourself. It's like, when you look at the abyss, the abyss also looks back at you, that quote. And the feeling is that the pyramids, we have, whatever, however they were built, which really doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> they built with probably sound frequency when we were in our Atlantean bodies still and had access to crystal technology and sound technology. Okay. Uh, but we don't consciously know how they were built because we're meant to be aware of our own subconscious mind and the fact that we're dreaming and we're waking up from the dream. Okay. And this is the earth, mother earth, king of sacred circles. We have the queen and king here and nine of cups, happiness. Um, this is like wish fulfillment of union on the physical earth because we're getting the pentacles energy, the sacred circle energy. And this is also the starborn, the new children coming in. And the feeling is that there's nothing that can stop these unions from coming in. Okay, two of swords, four of cups. This is a distraction to me, two of sacred circles. Okay, we're just getting that we know what's coming because we have created this ourselves, this entire movie, Ace of Staves. The unions are coming in, the unions are anchoring forth onto this earth. And that's part of us rising into unity consciousness. We are remembering all of the Atlantis, the Egyptian timelines. We're remembering all of this. And we're also remembering what we are here to do. And anything that's causing you an, an indecision or anything that's making you feel distracted, where you can't focus on um, what you're here to do. Two of Sacred Circles is the split earth feeling to me and being in two different dimensions, two different timelines, two different paths being at a crossroads, all of this is telling me we're exactly on time. You're right exactly on time where you're meant to be because divine masculine, it feels who is going slower in the simulation may have moments of fogginess. It's like a hero's journey where they're being stopped by um, distraction energy, where you gotta stop and fight a war, where you gotta stop and um, not be deceived by siren energy that wants to crash your ship. And you got all these different things that are trying to distract you on your way to where you know you're going to end up, which is Nine of Cups, which is 
the ultimate place where you're going to be free and you're going to be abundant and you're going to be happy. And this is where you know you deserve to be at the end of your journey. But I actually feel, and this is not to sound disheartening, but it, it does feel like Divine Masculine has just set sail on their hero's journey. And so they're at the very beginning of it. But they're, at, but they're on their hero's journey. They're on their new path um, out of the matrix. They're setting off. It's like, but they just left to the shore. So that's the feeling to me. And Divine Feminine is calling the masculine home here, which is home to themselves, home to their hearts, home to their highest timeline. Let's read the king and queen here. I can find the book. I don't know if I have the book. Okay. I'm missing the book, so maybe we won't read out of the book. But I guess we don't really have to, because I feel like that's the message. So let's get a fairy card to leave us with. Let's get an elemental card. Let's ask the fairies. Bring the fairies in for message. Okay. The Vedacious Bodoc. <laughs> he's, um, he looks like he's up to something and it's sneaky energy to me. So let's just see what he says. Meddling sabotage. Yeah, helpful fixing in quotations. It's about someone who wants to sabotage you by pretending that they're trying to help you. And that's exactly the feeling for the masculine here with the judge and apocalypse. So we wanted to get more clarity on this message, which is, because um, to me, divine feminine, you are meant to continue to hold your vision, ace of staves. You're meant to hold your vision for the masculine no matter what it looks like on the 3D surface, no matter what it looks like is going on with the masculine, because they've got a lot of tricks, they've got a lot of sabotage, they've got a lot that they have to work through. And you have to work through staying in the flow and holding the knowing of the higher timeline and knowing where they are going to end up ultimately. Okay, okay, because they're being sent in a lot of meddling spirits, it says, that he likes to fix things, fix in quotation marks. He drops down chimneys at night and tidies up for you. If you don't have a chimney, he'll find another way in. You left a stack of papers on your desk, he'll file them for you, probably in someone else's desk. <laughs> right. Um, no one put away the uneaten roast beef. He'll assume you don't want it, but give it to the neighbor's dog. He is not the fairy who ties elf locks in your hair and makes bits of it stand out in odd directions while you sleep. That's a cousin of his. He has far more important work to do. Okay, so he's not just messing with you to mess with you. I just saw 333. He's messing with you for a much more um, important reason I'm getting. Okay. Um, the Bodoc is a meddler. He will tell you if you catch him that he means well. It's just that things never turn out quite as he expects them to. He feels that you should be grateful for his so-called help and is amazed when you are not. Although his feelings are easily hurt by your lack of appreciation, he is persistent. He will just redouble his efforts to be helpful. So this is a very, I don't need to read the rest of it. Okay, because this is telling me that the type of sabotage right now that the masculine has to worry about the most, be aware of the most, I wouldn't say worry, but you have to be aware that the ones who are intentionally or seemingly trying to be helpful to you are actually keeping you in the matrix. They're actually keeping you on the shore. They're keeping you away from your divine higher timeline, whatever that means for you. They're keeping you away from your divine feminine. And that's the feeling to me because no one, unless they are also a 144,000 awakened star seed twin flame themselves, can fully understand what it is for you who's awake. I'm talking to the masculines who are totally awake and you know what your mission is and you know if that's you 
And you know that people are gonna come into your life who mean well, who wanna help you with your legal issues, maybe if it's a legal issue, that are actually also meddling because they themselves want a piece of your light. And that's probably typically every single person in your life to some degree that's coming in in this energy. And that would mean like anyone that you're helping, they don't really need your help. They're meddling trying to get your energy and light because your energy and light can power up an entire crumbling grid system matrix. So you can imagine that even a little tiny bit of your light can help someone rise to an amazing um, success in their own life, but they have meddled in with your divine journey, your hero's journey, right when you're about to go off and, and reach unity consciousness and everlasting happiness. Okay, so this is all the meddling, which is four of cups, two of swords, two of pentacles that we're getting. Okay. So it's about, with the bear, I'm just getting to guard your energy, stay totally to yourself, ghost, go into hermit mode, whatever you have to do, because you don't need to stay looping in timelines that have totally um, kind of ejected you out of them. That's what I get. I feel like the timeline is trying to eject you out of it by continuing to give you even meddling energy at all, because you have totally outgrown that. Okay, that's Divine Masculine. So those are the messages today. And I will leave it there. I'm sending you all much peace and light. Take care, everyone.